Tammy Pascatelli. Yes, thank you. This is beautiful. I like this. This is beautiful. I need, this is what we need in this country. Everybody coming together to have a good laugh. This is what we need. We're divided. But don't believe what they say in the media. We're not as divided as they make us seem in the media. They try to say, sensationalize everything. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. I heard this, uh, this guy on the news one time say, uh, this is the most divided our country has ever been in its history. And I was like, really? <laughs> like, this is the most divided? Are we just skipping over segregation and civil war? Seemed pretty divided then, you know? Can't listen to the news, man. They, they can't believe everything they say, man. You know, they'll try to have you believe in stuff you shouldn't believe. They'll try to have you believe you should be scared of somebody like me if you see me walking towards you at night. 6'5", black man, you should be scared I, I might rob you. Truth is, I'm scared of spiders. <laughs> you can't be a criminal if you got arachnophobia. It does not work, I'm telling you. <laughs> People get weird when they, when they hear I'm scared of spiders because I'm so tall, right? They don't believe it. They don't want it. They get, they, they get weird, so they start asking weird questions. I'm like, you scared of spiders? You? I had this one dude came up to me. I, like, uh, sometimes when it gets hot outside, I get spiders in my car. But one day I was riding around in my car, uh, saw my friend. I pulled up. I saw a spider web in the car, so I jumped out. I'm freaking out. I'm like, man, I don't know how these spiders keep getting in my car. <laughs> he looked at me with a straight face. He was like, man, you got spiders in your car? Okay. Uh, hey, are you locking your doors? <laughs> It was so stupid, it made me stupid. I answered him. I'm like, you know what? I don't think I did, dude. That is a good, that's a good idea right there. Huh? It's stupid. <laughs> People get weird, man, because I'm tall, you know? I'm scared of heights, too. I'm not ashamed, you know. I talk about it. Some people, don't, they don't want to talk about their fears. They want to try to, they want to, try to rationalize their fear. I told this uh, more friend of mine, I was like, man, I'm scared of heights. He was like, I'm not scared of heights. I'm scared of falling. Like, that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard of. I mean, I'm just saying, man, like, people get weird when they find, when they look at me, man. They ask me crazy questions. Man, you're so tall. You play basketball? <laughs> I had this, uh, this, this one woman, she was like, you play basketball? I was like, no, nah, I'm, a, I'm a comedian. This is exactly what she said. She said, you're a comedian? Ugh. I'm like, did she just ugh my dreams? What do you mean, ugh? They get weird, man. They think, one, because they have expectation. One expectation they have, they always come up to me, oh man, they think you're strong when you're tall. One lady, I was in Costco, this lady came up to me, she was like, hey, excuse me, can you hand me that box off the top shelf? I was like, what are you talking about, that air conditioner? Like, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm just tall, I'm not a forklift, I don't know. It's not easy being tall. People think it is, man. I mean, I get it. If you 6'5 and you're in the NBA, hey, life is great, you know? But if you're 6'5 and you're not in the NBA, it don't matter what your career is, people just look at you like you didn't make it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're a brain surgeon. Okay, huh. Did basketball not work? Is that how you fell into it? That's... Well, oh, man, I'm, I am married, though. I'm married, I got two kids. Uh, my, uh, my kids are in school, and that makes me nervous with them being in school. Because I hated school, because uh, I got picked on a lot, and I don't want my kids to have to deal with that, you know? I got picked on because I was real awkward looking. You know, I was skinny, I had big, thick glasses. I used to hear I was ugly all the time. Worst thing I heard was in uh, six, seventh grade. I heard this one time. I heard, you know, if you weren't so skinny, and you didn't have those glasses on, and you weren't so ugly, You could be my boyfriend. <laughs> that bothers me, man. It still bothers me to this day. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why that still bothers me, okay? It's because the dude that said it to me. <laughs> was a teacher. Now look, I really feel like I gotta, gotta draw the line somewhere, you know what I mean? That's, that seems like... Well, my kids dealing with that. 
see a lot of couples here, man. I'm married 10 years, though, man, 10 years. Yeah, man. I tell people this all the time, man. Know who you're going to marry, man. That's what you got to do. You got to know who you're going to... And know you're going to have differences. Me and my wife, we have differences, right? We talk different. I understand that. See, what she considers to be being blunt, I consider being mean. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Uh, since we've been together, I put on a little bit of weight. And uh, if you want me to lose weight, that's cool. But say something slick like, hey, baby, let's go to the gym. You know, something like that. This is how my wife told me. I was uh, taking a shower one day. My wife walked in the bathroom and looked at me. She said, uh, hey, you know, men can get breast cancer too. Then she just walked out. I was like, oh my God. Oh my gosh. I thought these were muscles. I didn't know. <laughs> it's just tough, man. 10 years, man. It gets... Here's the thing, man. Uh, we had a big wedding. And really, you know, men, we don't care about weddings, do we? Nah, that's for you ladies. You know what a, a wedding is like to a man? A wedding is like paying a lot of money to have people come celebrate you turning yourself into the police. That's, <laughs> that's how I felt. <laughs> but ladies, you gotta know this though, man. If you're a lady and you, you like to speak your mind, that's good. Man, we love that. Just don't do it uh, to the wrong person. That's all we ask, you know. I'll give you an example. Uh, before, I, before I got married, me and this uh, woman, we went out and uh, we went to the movies. It was real crowded. It was this big dude, about 6'9", 330 pounds, came, sat right next to us. Now, this dude, he had a little body odor. Probably should have took a shower before he came out, but things happen. I understand that. <laughs> The whole time, this girl is just yelling out. She's like, oh my God, he stinks. I'm like, shut up, girl, what you doing? She's like, no, no, I can't. She did this for about 10 minutes. Finally, this dude had enough. He came over to me. He said, hey man, you better tell her to shut up. I got mad, I jumped in his face. I'm like, dude, hold on, first of all, that's my girl you talking to, okay? So you need to tell her to shut up because that's between y'all two. I don't get in other people's business. Hey guys, I'm Mike James. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Mike James, thank you.